In this video, I'll show you how you can create shots that look like you shot it with a gimbal, just with your smartphone. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here. The ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today, I will show you how you can get shots that look like you shot it using a 3-axis gimbal like the DJI OM4 here, for example, but you actually were just using your smartphone. And yes, this is actually a thing, and yes, this is possible. And today, I will give you my top tips on how you can achieve shots that look somewhat like this. And before we hop into the tips, I would like to kindly remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel to not miss any of the future content. Also maybe give the video a like because it helps the algorithm and it also helps me to create more content for you guys. But now let's hop into the first tip. And the first tip that I have for you is to use the wide angle lens. I know not every phone does have an ultra wide angle lens, but generally speaking, the wider your field of view, the less noticeable any bumps will be. And if you take a look at a shot, for example, with tele lens on my phone, you can see that if I'm walking, you know, the stabilization does kind of a good job, but you can still see that this is really bumpy. If we switch to the regular camera, you can see that it does get a lot better. But now if we switch to the ultra wide angle lens, you can see that this now smooths out a ton of all my imperfections perfections and overall this just looks way better. If your phone does not happen to have an ultra wide angle lens, you can always buy some third party lenses like the ones from SV Assets or Sandmark for example. They deliver super high quality results and they are not that expensive also. So this is also an option. So again, first tip is use the widest lens that you have. The next tip that I have for you is, you know, when you are shooting with your smartphone and it doesn't matter if you're using it landscape or horizontal is that you know when you're walking don't stretch out your hands too much because you know the further away your hands are from your body the the less stable it will be overall so if you move it closer like this somewhat like this you are way more stable compared to you stretching out your hands you know this might sound weird and you might be saying okay it doesn't matter if I hold my hands like this or like this but trust me, and maybe even try it out for yourself, the closer you are to your body, the, the steadier your shots are going to be overall. And another thing, if you are stretching out your hands this far, it will also get quite exhausting pretty quickly because, you know, it's just exhausting for us human beings. So when you are shooting, leave your hands pretty close to your body. Next tip I have for you, and that is an important one, and that is to bend your knees when you're walking. You know, when we are walking normally, we do not really take care about our steps and then we have this little up and down movements in our walking and when we are walking like this when we are walking normally and we are shooting handheld you will have this up and down movement and then your hands have to regulate even more but if you bend your knees you kind of get rid of this up and down movement and then overall your hands have to work less to you know to 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 balance out your imperfections of your walking and overall this will result in in smoother footage and in case you are a gimbal shooter this is also a tip that i always give you know bend your knees use the ninja walk as i like to call it because this will overall just make your shots way smoother compared to not walking like a ninja. The next tip that I have for you is to practice your walking and also practice your shooting in general. You know, having those tips is important and knowing them is important, but actually if you just know them and never actually take them to practice, you will still have a hard time, you know, using all the things and all the information that I give you. So if you plan to shoot handheld in the future and you have a spare hour, well, just go out and practice it. You know, the more you practice it, the better your results will be and also the more you use the techniques that I give you you know the better filmmaker you will become overall so if you have some time just go out and practice your walking practice your shooting and watch the results that you are creating and I can guarantee you the more you practice the better your results are going to be and the last tip that I have for you you know if you have shot your footage and you maybe do not have the newest phone anymore and it does not have some good built-in stabilization you know you can always use in the post-production a stabilization tool you know just recently on iOS devices the app LumaFusion that we also do cover 
cover inside of the full smartphone filmmaking pro course for example with about 10 tutorials this app actually has brought out a new stabilization tool directly built into the software and it actually does work amazingly well directly on ios devices you know with just a press of a button you can smooth out all your shots and you can actually dial in specific settings like you could do with Premiere Pro and their warp stabilizer. So overall, a huge thumbs up from my side. And I also think that Adobe Premiere Rush, an app that works on Android and on iOS devices, has also recently brought out a stabilization tool. To be honest, I have not tested this myself, but I have tested Premiere Pro with their warp stabilizer and also LumaFusion with their stabilization tool. And both work amazingly well. And they can make footage that looks mm, somewhat okay okay to looking absolutely amazing and just one last thing overall the newer your smartphone the better your results are going to be looking you know if for example i compare the shots from an iphone 7 or an iphone 8 to the ones of my iphone 12 pro you know no matter how good you practice your skills it is still going to look better on the newer phones also on samsung phones of course if you're an android user or basically on any other phone. I have recently also tested the OnePlus 9 Pro and this also has some great stabilization built in. But overall, the newer your phones, you know, the better the results are going to be because, you know, technology just evolves extremely quickly, especially on smartphones. So, but yeah, those are basically the tips that I have for you. And if you keep them in your mind, if you practice them, if you do them all the time, you will actually become a better filmmaker and you will get smooth the results without using a three axis gimbal. I do still recommend that you get a three axis gimbal because it's just way easier and the results are still going to be better. But in case you do not have one and in case you do not want to carry one with you, you know, using those tips will make your shots way smoother. But that's it for today's video. In case you would like to learn more about smartphone filmmaking, we do have a complete course with over 100 videos and about 10 hours of high valuable content. And if you wanna learn more, we do have a totally free webinar for you guys. Just click the very first link below that like button to watch it for free. And yeah, if you guys have any further questions, make sure to let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.